Today you are going to learn how to read the forex chart and scope successfully. Imagine of forex trading, I have tested over 500 strategies. Now I can know what differentiates a strategy that always wins each and every time and a strategy that loses each and every time. So if you are interested in understanding how the market moves and most importantly how to win in the forex market, make sure you pay attention, like this video and watch until the end. Because if your strategy does not have what I'm about to share with you today, making money with that strategy will be very difficult. But if it has what I'm about to share with you today, you are guaranteed making money in the forex market will be very easy for you. I am doing this so that one apple you can be a successful forex trader like this young trader driving a beautiful car, have a beautiful Instagram slay queen and you can see he is enjoying life all because of forex trading and the most important thing above all, having a strategy that actually makes you money. The first thing that your strategy must be able to do is to give you the direction of where the market is going. If it's going up, it must easily tell you that the market is in an up direction and you must only look to place buy trades. Then if the market is going down, it must easily tell you that the market is in the down direction and you must only look to place sell trades. So one way of knowing the direction of the market is when you have the market forming highs, lows and having higher highs and higher lows in the forex market. By having this, this is a clear sign that the market is going up and if your strategy can actually show you that the market is actually forming this pattern and giving you the same direction with what to get with this exact pattern, then you know that the strategy that you have is guaranteed to give you the correct direction. One way of being able to identify the direction of the market accurately is by having two moving averages which I'm going to be showing you in a few seconds. So on the forex chart this will look exactly like this. We have a high at the top, the low which means this is a sign of the market starting to go up. So if the market goes above this previous high then it means we are forming a higher high and then the market if it goes down but does not go below this low then it means it has formed a high higher low. And this is exactly what we have when we have a high low, a higher high and higher low. This pattern is what shows you the market is in an uptrend and if these indicators are actually nicely spaced out like this showing you that the market is also going up then this means these indicators are actually giving you good direction of where the market is going. When starting out the one that you can use is the 20 moving average and the 50 moving average. When the market is really going up they will show you the direction of where the market is going very easily and also if the market is really going down they will also turn and give you a clear direction that the market is really going down. There are more advanced ways that you can actually know if the market is going to go down each and every second in the forex market but for now as a beginner who wants to know how to read the forex market this is a good start. When you have the direction of where the market is going either up or down the next thing that you need is a pattern that can tell you where exactly you are going to enter in the direction that you got in the first part. So the main pattern that you have in the forex market are the M's, W, head and shoulders and the inverse head and shoulders. These are the main patterns that you can have in the forex market. When you get to enter the market in the direction of these patterns, you will never go wrong, especially if you have the direction correctly. So now having the direction and the pattern together, this will look like this. We have your two moving averages nicely pointing up, which means you have the buy direction and you are only looking for buy trades. What you want to see at the moving average is a W pattern which is a pattern that tells you the market must go up. So when you have these two exactly at the moving average, this tells you you can easily enter a buy trade and actually get a winning trade. So now let's go to the chart so that we can look exactly what we have. We have the 20 moving average above the 50 moving average. They are nicely pointing up which means you are in the buy zone and only looking for buy trades. Look, the market is now coming down to a moving average and it's forming a proper W pattern that you can actually see on your chart. And from what I've explained earlier, this is a pattern that gives you a buy trade. So which means you now have two things telling you the market must go up. So if you enter the market 
in the direction that you got from the pattern and also from the moving averages winning in this trade is a guarantee and the market will definitely go into your direction this is not the only pattern that you can actually see in the forex market you can also see another pattern called the inverse head and shoulder this is actually happening exactly at your moving average which means you know you have this pattern telling you the market must go up and also the moving averages are also telling you the market must go up now let's find out what happened afterwards you can see the market shooting up exactly into your direction that you want to make money from and soon afterwards you can also see another w pattern being formed at the moving average and after that trade the market went into your direction what you are seeing is that there was a w pattern there was an inverse head and shoulder there was also another w pattern and all of these patterns when they were going in the same direction that you have with the moving averages they were all winning trades now you have the direction you have the pattern to use when you're getting the entry one thing that most people leave out in their strategies which is the reason why they are struggling day after day for them to be a profitable trader is actually having confirmations in the entries that you'll be getting so there are different ways that you can actually have confirmation it can be a candlestick pattern that you can actually have just before your entry or it can be a breakout of a level that provides resistance and the market after that will be a clear way to go into your direction one other way that you can actually have a confirmation is by using a third indicator that can actually tell you the market is really going up the easiest confirmation that you can use when you're starting out to learn how to read the forex market and the charts are candlestick patterns when you get at your entry and you have a rejection candle that is exactly like this enter a buy trade you can also have what to call a bullish engulfing when you have a small candle at your left side and then a big bullish candle on your right side this is a confirmation that the market want to go up when the market is going down you can use opposite confirmation that you got when you're entering buy trades now you'll be looking for rejections at the top and also big bearish candles next to a small bullish candle these are telling you the market wants to go down and when you enter in that direction the market will definitely follow in that direction and give you good profits now as the market is going up you can see a big week followed by a bullish candle that you have here this is a rejection candle that is telling you the market wants to go up then as the market is going up you can see we have a small bearish candle followed by a big bullish candle this is also a confirmation that the market must go up and when i'm looking at your chart you actually see when the market really turns go into your direction there will be either of these patterns a small bearish candle followed by a strong bullish candle and soon afterwards the market will shoot up so let's put this together so that you can have a simple strategy that you can actually go apply today and start to see results for your buy trade you want to see the 20 moving average above the 50 moving average then you want to see the market coming down giving you a w pattern or an inverse head and shoulder then just before you enter the market you want to see either a pin bar or a bullish engulfing pattern enter a buy trade and target for the market to go up so this is how you find your trades on the strategy you have the two moving averages nicely pointing up then you have the market coming to your moving average giving you a w pattern then for you to actually enter a trade you want to see a red candle then a big bullish candle next to it enter a buy trade and target for the market to go up afterwards you will see the market shooting into your direction and giving you good profits in the forex market so what do you think about this simple trading strategy comment below your experience using moving averages trading patterns and also candlestick patterns as confirmation in entering trades and also if you want a good and reliable broker that you have tight displays instant deposit and withdrawals and the best customer service open your account using the link below and try out this for a strategy that i've given you today and come back and tell me how was your experience this is mobile forex bye for now